everyone and welcome to day 18 of this October where we're playing through Aeronautica Imperialis Flight Command from 2020. We're finished with the campaign and we're currently going through the scenarios. Uh, we're finished with the first three of them. So today we're going to be doing a Clash of Aces. The battle for Rinsworth forged many heroes. For the orcs it is the self-styled Black Baron, an extraordinary orc with an obsession for even more Daka. For the Imperium there is a brilliant f flight commander Richter Dagor, Jarni, Jarni in his distinctive red thunderbolt, the Executioner. The two aces finally went head to head over the great sh sharp, sharp as Dagor Jarni led a patrol of the 672nd fighter wing. There would be no retreat, no quarter given, only one victor. Uh, special rules use the wait. No special rules. No special rules. Oh, I had to check out. Uh, use the action menu on the Black Baron to activate his rocket boosters. These accelerate his aircraft to speed nine and, and can only be used once per game. The Black Baron is also equipped with the custom big shooters. There's these deal a huge amount of damage at close range. All right, let's try it. Oi, oi! Found a human hero, Dagojani. It's Imard. Wah! Engage and destroy. Put them custom big shooters in the wheelchair to walk. And no running off your git. On it, boss. This, this is our target. We have three aces. Uh, I know that the one of the achievements here is to uh, have none of your aces killed, so that's my goal today. Uh, it's no idea, uh, no point to uh, assign them any targets since they are so far away at the moment. I think you two are gonna do the surprise attack from the sides. A real uh, ambush to say so. Going in high, so we're gonna go higher too. We have our first, uh, perhaps, potential encounter. I don't think there is much uh, of an uh, ambush now as they can, will see us, most definitely. Alright, fly and engage!
we're gonna assign you a new target and that's gonna be the one down below here. I think we're gonna slipper slope you too. You are gonna head on straight on. Assign you to head on towards that one first. New target. And you have a new target as well on this one. Execute! Did you kill one of ours? And we kill, we killed one of them, but they killed one of ours too. They killed two of ours! This did not turn out the way I hoped it to be. I really hope that he doesn't do a U-turn here and we're just gonna sweep around each other. Okay, commit. We kill Executioner! Now there's only Deliverance left. straight forward uh, try and get the new angle it's attacking from same with you gonna do a u-turn with you but you can only do it underneath from underneath I mean uh, your new target should be this one Commit! Oh, he destroyed one of ours. You bastard! That's how it's gonna be. I'm 
unless he does a turn up or down, we have her in our scopes. So that comes the question, should we go up or down just in case he decides to trick around with us? I think we're actually gonna try our luck here, see how that goes. Meanwhile, Jahama is gonna just go straight forward and then we're gonna do a U-turn later on when we get the chance to do so. Oh, he went upstairs instead, of course he did. They're almost a little bit predictable in that sort of sense. Uh, you are gonna decrease like that. And hopefully we can uh, trick him into following after him and we can get behind him. Keep the same altitude or lower it. I think he's gonna go lower if he if he's gonna have a chance of actually uh, yeah get us. But at the same time, he could be out of ammo. Unlikely, but he could be. So you could do a U turn down worse. Yeah, we're gonna keep him in this. Uh... I knew it. I knew it. Let's see here. Uh, boundaries. I think we can do like a straight turn like this, try and uh, trick him. Don't tell me you're out of ammo. Firing at Oryx. Come on. Maybe I should have uh, disengaged with him. Uh, barriers. Oh, he's too far away. Other barriers. Oh, uh, too far away either way. Fail to damage. Oh, it's a victory! But it wasn't an achievement that we got, so we have to check out on those achievements.
Uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, since that was a victory, I don't want to replay it once again. The achievements, even though I want the achievements, I will have to do that off screen. So, gonna do this one more time, but this time around, we're gonna do it as the humans. We have reports of Orc Vulture Squadron conducting raids around the Great Scarp. The Black Bar Baron is said to be in command. Seek out the enemy and bring the Emperor's fury. Understood. Assigning command of the Elite 672nd Fighter Wing, led by Flight Commander Victor Dagor Jarni. Prosecute any and all that stand in their way. Acknowledged. The Emperor protects. So we're gonna do the same type of uh, maneuver, go in high and then attack them from, uh, from uh, above. Commit. This could potentially be the time where we get our first engagements. You're gonna go for the slippery slope attack. Slippery slope attack. Disappointing uh, first attack, I would say. Change target and make a left turn. That seems all right. The enemy favors high, the high ground for a good uh, for a good reason. Commit. We destroyed one of theirs. Destroyed two of theirs. That was a good day. Uh, that was a good one. See, you're gonna do a U turn here. Take him, him from behind. Change target and go for a. This could be a risky move, but uh, well worth it if it uh, pays off. Uh, firing orcs. Commit! Damage them at least. Now we're gonna do the Pearl Harbor uh, maneuver. Oh, wait, we're gonna continue on this one.
gonna go after him. You're gonna do your U-turn, hopefully get around, don't get killed while doing so. Uh, weapon check. Still missiles. Still missiles. No missiles, turn that off. Okay, commit. You got another kill. We managed to damage battle rip at least. This could perhaps work. And you're gonna do the U turn. Come out from behind. And you are gonna do the U turn coming out from behind. Commit! him uh, I think you are gonna go for a little um, try and get away and then make a return back same with you uh, make a swimming turn and then uh, get come back around get them on the second attack round yes just one more to go to go He's gonna do go down below, he's gonna go up above. And now he's gonna do his turn around. Oh, he he's gonna faint from this, I believe. Well, luckily, uh, we're at a good pace. I think even if he faints, it's gonna be okay. Fainted just yet. So now we need to get uh, Dakra Dakka Dakranka. Uh, before he escapes and booya we have a victory aces high and aces low meaning that uh, we killed all of their aces aces and none of our aces were killed so yeah that's everything for today thank you much for watching this see you around everybody bye bye